Peace everybody, so today is the first week of Halloween. Today we're going to be talking about horror movies. And what is the first horror movie that we're going to be talking about? It's a horror movie that I saw a while ago and it was like, it's, it's nothing I've ever seen before, okay? It's called Rubber. What on earth could Rubber be possibly be about? Okay, maybe you know what Rubber is, maybe you don't, okay? For those of you who don't know what Rubber is, I'm going to tell you. Rubber is about a tire, okay? It's like a tire from a car, like a real tire. And it has this telekinetic powers that makes people's heads explode, or just anything explode. Like it blows up birds and rabbits and stuff like that. And it makes people's heads explode too. Now what kind of movie is this? You probably think this is like a stupid movie. Maybe it's even a comedy. It actually, I don't know if it's a comedy or not. It looks like it's super serious and everything, but on the other hand, maybe it might be a comedy. Because at the same time, these tires, or this one tire, is blowing people's heads up. There's an audience, okay? This, this happens out in the middle of the desert, or like this desert town, this small little town, and it's just blowing people's heads up, whatever. In the middle of all this stuff happening, there are a bunch of people on this hilltop. And they got their binoculars, and they're watching this whole thing happen, and they actually paid for this, okay? Like, they think it's all fake. And they're just like, well, this is, like, the coolest thing ever. Whoa! Okay, and so they're watching it. But as long as the audience is still alive, the tire is going to keep going and blowing it up and everything. So, there's this guy who's constantly trying to kill the audience at the same time that they're watching it. And they give him this turkey. And they all eat the turkey, and the turkey is poisonous, and they all die. Except for one guy. This one guy in this wheelchair, he's all like, No, man, I'm watching this till the end. So what does this guy do? You know, like, he's, he watches it till the end. Well, this guy who's in charge of the whole thing, he goes into this house, and he blows up the tire with a shotgun, and he's like, Yeah, I killed it. And so he walks away, and it's like, It's all over from here. So this guy in the wheelchair, he's still watching the house, It's like, it can't end like this, this is the worst ending in the world. All of a sudden this tricycle rolls out, this tricycle, and he's like, no, it's not over, it's not over. The tire got reincarnated into a tricycle. And so then he's just like, it's amazing, you know, and so he starts applauding, he's like, no, this is a good ending. Okay, then the tricycle blows up the guy's head. And then the tricycle starts rolling down the street, and as the tricycle rolls down the street, a bunch of other, like, tires start following this tricycle as it rolls down the street, and it's like, it's never gonna end! No! You know, like, nothing, like, you know, and then that's how it ends. Now, you may think of this movie as, like, the worst movie in the world. And I bet most of the people who watch this, they're just like, this is the worst movie in the world. Oh my glasses again, I'll fuck you up. And I was watching this movie and I was like, this movie's pretty terrible. But at the same time, I looked at it and I was like, you know what? This is, movie's got potential. I actually think it could be the best movie in the world. And it's just one of those things like, you know, like, you have to look at it in a way that just nobody's ever done this before. I mean, who has ever come up with an idea of a killer tire? I mean, like... Not just that. I mean, that's a pretty original idea. But it's just like having the audience watching the movie at the same time. You see, I think this is like a really, really good idea, but it just wasn't executed very well. So I think if somebody were to take the same concept, you know, and just do a little bit better, I think it could be the best movie in the world. So there we go. Okay, so right now, if I were to rate this movie, I would give it two stars but a potential five stars, okay? Because it's really, it's got potential. It could be the best movie in the world. And you may think I'm crazy, but you just gotta see it to figure out, you know, is it really that good? I thought it was pretty good. Will I watch it again? No, I probably wouldn't watch it again because it is really boring. The thing is, it's also really, really slow. The filmmaker just had no sense of pacing, you know? It's just so slow moving. Like, the entire movie, like, if he were to cut it up fast enough to where it could keep everybody's interest, the whole movie could be, like, 30 minutes long. Like, I'm serious. Like, it is a really slow-moving movie. So there you go. Okay, Rubber. Okay, I recommend it. I think people should watch it at least once, you know, on but I think only once. Okay, but, yeah. It's a pretty good movie. So, if you have suggestions for other movies for me to talk about, leave comments below. Okay, I'm going to be doing this every day for this whole week, Halloween week, starting the 25th, which should be today. And then going to the 31st, which should be a week from today. So, there you go. It's Halloween week, man. Halloween week. So, there we go. Also, I don't know what to dress up like for Halloween, okay? So, leave comments below. Tell me, what should I dress up like for Halloween? And for that, I will leave you...